So here we have a first molar crown that has recurrent decay and we told the patient that we really can't tell um, how much decay is underneath the crown and we, we determined that we would remove the crown uh, atraumatically uh, for the patient. And here we want to demonstrate the use of the WAM key. And what we're trying to do is we're going to establish the where we estimate the the crown height to be. So I'm taking a metal cutter. This is a porcelain fused to metal. And I'm simply going to remove the porcelain and make a window. I'm going through metal. Um, if you can see the, the, the tooth, you can see I made a small opening here. I can't really see too much, so we'll enlarge the facial opening uh, for the wham key. And I'm taking my the wham key and I'm going to place it into the opening I made. Now I may have been a little shallow here. I may have wanted to go a little bit deeper into the crown, but using some right and left uh, rotational motion, the crown will actually pop off nicely as, as we'll show here. Um, here I'm elevating and we're able to remove the crown uh, without destroying it, without destroying porcelain, and I can actually use this as a temporary restoration.